Yo, hello there, what's going on YouTube, and welcome back my fellow Pixelators, and welcome back to another Minecraft Pixel tour build on Team 7 Eyes. As you know, we've pretty much done most of the build now, and now we're on to the final part, which hopefully it should be quite short, but we do have quite a long bit to do up here, which is kind of a couple of layers. But without further ado, for today's blocks, we are going to be using our yellow concrete, gold block, instant bricks, yellow wool, and block of quartz. Now just before we get started on the build as well, make sure to go and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you haven't done that already. And without further ado, for the area that we're going to be starting with and the block we're going to be using first, we're going to be using our yellow concrete. And we're going to be starting in the left eyebrow, so flying over to the left hand side. And for the area that we're going to mark out first in this eyebrow, as you can see we've got this orange ball section underneath the eyebrow right here. And the one underneath the eyebrow, this orange wool section, you can see we've got that two black concrete flat going horizontally right here on its own. And we're going to be flying to that two with our yellow concrete. And once you've flown over towards this two, for the area that we're going to go off the two, we're going to go and fly to the right of the two, so to this point right here. And we're going to place one yellow concrete on top of here. And there we go. But once we've done this, we're going to take out our gold block. And we're going to place one gold block on top of the yellow concrete. And then we're going to do a bottom left diagonal. So it looks like you place one tail left of the yellow concrete as well. And there we go. Once we have done this, when that one bottom left diagonal did with the gold block, we're going to do an up left diagonal from here. And then we're going to place two to the left. So one and two, just like so. And then we're going to do two up left diagonals. So one and two. From the second up left diagonal, place one to the left. And then from this one, you place to the left. Do another up left diagonal from here. And then from this up left diagonal, we're going to place one on top. And from this one you place on top, you're going to take out our endstone bricks. And with your endstone bricks, place one on top of the gold block, just like so. Once you place one on top, do a bottom left diagonal. And from this bottom left diagonal, place one underneath. And from this one you place underneath, fly back up by one. So back up to the endstone brick right here. Then place two to the left. So one and two. From the second one you place to the left, do an up left diagonal just like so. And take out your gold block and place one to the left. And then we're going to do an up right diagonal from here just like so. And then from this up right diagonal, place one to the right. And then place one on top just like so. From this one you place on top, we're then going to do two up left diagonals. So one and two just like so. In the second up left diagonal, place one to the left. And then finally but not least, do another up left diagonal from here. And then from this up left diagonal, place one going underneath. Then do a bottom left diagonal. And then from this bottom left diagonal, place one underneath. And there we go. Once we've done this, take out your yellow concrete. Place one going to the left from that gold block. And then we're just going to zoom out from here. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to explain the areas. So first thing first on this area that we just place that one yellow concrete to the left. We're just going to mark it to the left of the gold block now. So just mark it to the left right here. And there we go. So as you can see, yellow concrete is going all inside that section. As you can see, gold's going all inside this section. And then we just need to mark out the end stone on the right hand side of the gold right here. So taking our end stone bricks, just going to mark this out. And you can fill it all in as well. There you go. And once we've done that right there, we're then done with all the other areas. Because as you can see, gold blocks going all inside here. Then yellow concrete's going all down here. If you want to place a bit more yellow concrete so you can see it, you can do that. Just like I've done there. And if you want, you can pause the video and fill everything in now. But once we have done this, we are going to move over to the next side. So we're going to move over to the right eyebrow. So flying all the way over to the eyebrow right here, as you can see. And once you've flown over to the right eyebrow, for the area that we're going to be going off, once again, we're going to start with our yellow concrete. We're going to start on the bottom line again. But as you can see, there's quite a lot of the orange ball going underneath but we are going to be going towards that orange ball and as you can see we got three tubes right here going in a bottom left diagonal direction so one two and three and we're going to be flying to the second two out of those three bottom left diagonal twos so the middle one of the two or three right here as you can see so the middle one right there and once you've flown over towards this middle two for the area that we're going to go off, we're going to go off the very right of the two, so to this point right here. And we're actually just going to place one yellow concrete going down from here, in that corner. And there you go. And once you've done this, take out your gold block, place one gold block on top, then place two to the right. So one and two. 
Once you've done this, do an upright diagonal. And for this upright diagonal, take out your end stone bricks. And we're going to place one to the right, just like so. And for this one you place to the right, do two upright diagonals from here. So one and two. And there you go. Should be looking like that right there. Then from that second upright diagonal, place one on top of here, just like so. Once you place one on top, we're then going to place two to the right from here. So one and two. From that second one you place to the right, take out your gold block and place one on top. Then we're going to place two to the right, so one and two. And then we're going to place one going underneath. And from this one you place underneath, do a bottom left diagonal, just like so. Then fly back in the upright diagonal direction by one, so back to this gold block right here. And place one gold block to the right, then do an upright diagonal, then place one to the right. And then we're going to take out our yellow concrete again, do an upright diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal, place two on top, so one and two. And then we're going to place one to the left, and then do a bottom left diagonal. And there we go, we're done right there. So now for the explaining. So first thing first, take out your gold block again. And if you can't tell, gold block is going to go to the left of the yellow concrete right here. By the way, that one gap is end stone, so don't fill that in. So to the left of the yellow concrete, just the left of the yellow concrete. Just place our gold block to the left from here. And there we go. And then take out our end stone. As you can see, end stone is going to our left of the gold block. So just going to place one on this gap, one right there. There you go, should be looking like that right there. And then taking out our gold block, that's going to go to the left of the end stone right here. So just taking out our gold block, just mark that out. And there we go. And then once we've done this, as you can see, the yellow concrete is going down in the rest of this section. And again, if you want to mark a bit more out, you can do that. So I'll just mark a bit more out here. And there you go. And again, the rest is just yellow concrete. So as you can see, yellow concrete now, gold block in that section. End stone bricks in that section, gold block in that section, and the yellow concrete, all the rest going up here. Exactly the same with the other side, exactly the same pattern. Obviously, a bit of a different uh, in terms of how much goes in each area, but exactly the same pattern in terms of yellow concrete, gold block, end stone, gold block, and yellow concrete. So, same pattern, but just different amounts in each area. And once we have done that, we're now going to get on to the top part of shading in Naruto's headband. So for the area that we're going to start off here, we're going to fly all the way to the left hand side. So all the way to the very left, and we're going to be starting on that two right there. And we're going to be starting on the very left two, so we're going to fly all the way up to here. And there we go. Once we have flown all the way to the left of this two right here with our yellow concrete, we're going to place three going up from here with our yellow concrete. So one, two, and three. And there we go. Once you place three yellow concrete on top, place two to the right. So one and two. And there we go. Should be looking like this so far. Once you place two to the right, do a bottom right diagonal. And there we go. On this bottom right diagonal, place one to the right, just like so. Once you place one to the right, do another bottom right diagonal. Then place another one to the right, just like so. Once you place this one to the right, do two bottom right diagonals from here. So, one, and two, two, and there we go, <laughs> struggle there. And from that second bottom right diagonal, we're then going to place six going to the right from here. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like so. Now, once you place six to the right, we're then just going to place one going underneath from here. And from this one you place underneath, we're then going to place another six going to the right from here. So, one. Two, three, four, five, and six, just like so. Once we've done this, place another one going underneath from here, just like so. And this time we're going to place seven going to the right from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, just like so. Once you place seven to the right, place one going underneath. And then this time we're going to place 16 going to the right from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And there you go. Once you place sixteen going to the right, we're then gonna place one going underneath from here. And if this one you place underneath, we're then going to place seventeen going to the right from here. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. And there we go. Once you place seventeen to the right, we're then going to do an upright diagonal from here, just like so. When it's upright diagonal, we're then going to place 40 going to the right from here. So we've got quite a lot to place to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. And as you can see, one away from the edge right here. Once you place 40 yellow concrete, going to the right from here. Once you have placed 40 to the right, we are then going to do an upright diagonal from here, just like so. And in front of this upright diagonal, we're going to place 9 going to the right from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And there we go. Once you place 9 to the right, do another upright diagonal, just like so. In front of this upright diagonal, we're going to place 8 going to the right from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Once you place 8 to the right, do another upright diagonal. Then from this upright diagonal, we're going to place 8 going to the right from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then once you place 8 to the right, do another upright diagonal. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place 6 going to the right from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then once you place 6 to the right, we're going to do another upright diagonal. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place... 5 going to the right from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Once you place 5 to the right, do another upright diagonal. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place 5 going to the right from here as well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then once you place 5 to the right, do another upright diagonal. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place another 5 going to the right from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And finally, but not least, do another upright diagonal. And when it's upright diagonal, place one to the right. And there we go. Once we have completed uh, this yellow concrete right here, we're then going to do the next line. So we're going to take our yellow wool. And with our yellow wool, we're going to place one on top of the very right of the yellow concrete right here. Just like so. And there we go. Once we place that one yellow wool on top, we're then going to place eight going to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And once you place eight to the left, do another bottom left diagonal, and this time place number eight going to the left from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And once you place eight to the left, do another bottom left diagonal, and then from this bottom left diagonal, place four to the left. So one, two, three, and four. Once you place 4 to the left, do another bottom left diagonal from here. And this time, we're going to place 7 going to the left from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then once you place 7 to the left, do another bottom left diagonal. And then place another 7 to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And there you go. Once you place this 7 to the left, do another bottom left diagonal from here. And then this time we're going to place 9 going to the left from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then once you place 9 to the left, do another bottom left diagonal. And then this time for this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place 49 going to the left from here. So once again, we got a lot of blocks to the place to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 
41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48 and 49. And there you go. Once you place 49 going to the left right here. We're then going to do a bottom left diagonal from here once again. So do bottom left diagonal just like so. And from this bottom left diagonal place 12 going to the left from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. And there you go. But once you place 12 to the left, we're then going to do an up left diagonal from here. Just like so. And from this up left diagonal, we're going to place 14 going to the left from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. And there you go. Once you place 14 going to the left from here, we're then going to do an up left diagonal. And from this up left diagonal, we're going to place 10 going to the left from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And there you go. Once you place 10 to the left, do an up left diagonal. And place 2 to the left. So 1, 2. And then do another up left diagonal. And from this up left diagonal, place 3 to the left. So 1, 2, and 3. And then do another up left diagonal. This time place 2 to the left. So 1 and 2. And then do another up left diagonal. And place another 2 to the left. So 1 and 2. And then do another up left diagonal. And then from this up left diagonal, we're then going to take out our gold block. And we're going to place 1 to the right from here. And then we're going to fly back into the left by 1. So back to this yellow wool. And take out our yellow wool again. And we're then going to place... 5 going to the left from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And as you can see, if you place 5 yellow wool going to the left from that 1 yellow wool, and it's to the very end in line with the black concrete, that means we've done everything correctly so far. And we're also just going to place 1 yellow wool underneath so it caps off the end. And there we go. Once we have done that, we're going to fly back up to the top yellow wool line, fly all the way back to the right, back to the 1 gold block that we just placed going to the right. And once you're flying back to the one gold block we place to the right, take out your gold block again, and place another three to the right from here. So one, two, and three. Once you place three to the right, place one gold block going underneath, just like so. Once you place one gold block underneath, we're then going to place nine going to the right from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now once you place nine to the right, do a bottom right diagonal. And there we go. From this bottom right diagonal, we're then going to place 7 going to the right from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then once you place 7 to the right, do another bottom right diagonal from here. And from this bottom right diagonal, we're then going to place 5 to the right from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then once you place 5 to the right, we're then going to do another bottom right diagonal from here. And this time we're going to place 22 going to the right from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 and 22. And there we go. Once you place 22 to the right, we're then going to do a bottom right diagonal from here. And then from this bottom right diagonal we're going to place... 20 going to the right from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And there we go. Once you place 20 to the right, do another right diagonal from here. Just like so. And then from this upper right diagonal, we're going to place 10 going to the right from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then once you place 10 to the right, do another upright diagonal, and then place 1 to the right. And there we go. Pretty much once we've done this, all we're going to do now is just basically place gold block all underneath the black concrete all the way to the right until we hit the yellow wall. Because we're pretty much done with everything marked out now. So as you can see, gold block's basically going to go all inside here. So pretty much now, I guess, for the explaining for all of these areas. First thing first, what we're going to do is we're going to take out our yellow wool and for, with our yellow wool, we're going to mark on top of the yellow concrete. 
So we're going to mark the yellow wall on top of the yellow concrete just to mark out these areas so we know which colour goes in which area or which block goes in which area. And then we do have another colour that goes in this area above the gold block which will be our quartz but again we'll get to uh, shading that in later once we mark everything out first. And after that we've got one more tiny section to do which will be the very kind of bit that actually kind of starts a bit in the headband. But I gotta say this build definitely is gonna look quite amazing which the first build I've ever done that uses kind of these colours for skin tones, especially orange wool, don't think I've ever used that but it really helps to get that glow effect. So there's all the yellow wool marked on top of the yellow concrete right there and now we're gonna take out our gold block and we're gonna now mark a gold block on top of the yellow wall line. So the top of the yellow wall line that we marked out, we're gonna mark gold block on top of that. So just like with the yellow wall on top of the yellow concrete, but just this time gold block on top of the yellow wall. And right, we're just marking this out nice and quick. And there we go. And just flying over to the right over here, we're marking this out. And there we go, there's the gold block marked out. So if you want, you can also mark at the top here if you want. It's not really needed, but just in case, I'll mark it out for those that kind of want to see it like this as well. And there you go. And then finally, but not least, we can take out our block of quartz. And as you can see on this left-hand side over here, block of quartz is just going to go on top of the gold block. So we're just going to mark this out nice and quick. Now we're almost at the end here, I think it's the last line, yep, there we go, and there's the quartz complete. So as you can see, yellow concrete is going to go underneath in all those little small sections, which is not too much, kind of on the left there. We've really pushed the most of it there, and then just got a couple of sections over here, and there's one gap going up here. And then you've got the yellow wall in the next section, marking in between the yellow wall lines. And then we've got the gold block in those small little sections, and then all the way to the right right here. And then finally, but not least, all the quartz up here. And then for our final area, which is this small little center line for the actual headband in the middle. So, without further ado, for the area that we're going to be flying off to here, we're going to be flying all the way to the right hand side on the bottom line. So, on the very big line that's going underneath, we're going to be flying all the way to the right as it's going to be the easiest to start over here. And fly to that very right corner on top of this big line right here. And once you've flown to this bottom right corner right here, we're going to take out our gold block. And with our gold block, we're going to place four going to our left in this bottom right corner. So one, two, three, and four. And then once we've done this, we're now going to take our end stone. And with our end stone, we're literally just going to place all the way to the left from these four gold blocks until we hit the black concrete. We're just going all the way to the left. And there we go. And then once we hit the black concrete, now we're going to take our quartz. And quartz is going to go in the rest of this top line. So just mark it on top of the end stone bricks. And the gold block, all the way over to the right. And there we go, there's everything done in that top part right there. So all we got to do now is just cut to everything being filled in. And then we're completed with Naruto, which is either going to be three or two parts. We'll see how long Kakasuke takes. And that will be the final one. So without further ado, let's just go and move over to the left eyebrow. And once again, I'm going to give you two options as per usual. So your first option is you can have a pause the video right now to fill everything in for yourself and see the end result for yourself. Or if you want a reference basically to make sure you don't go wrong, then you can pause the video right now. And there we go. So as you can see, we filled in the eyebrow right now. So as you can see, we filled in all the yellow concrete to the right. And then we filled in all the gold blocks. Then all the endstone bricks. And then all the gold blocks. And then all the yellow concrete. Once again, you can pause the video at any point in time to complete those areas that you need to fill in. And now I'm just going to fly over to the right hand side as well. So once again, exactly the same as the other side, filled in the yellow concrete, gold block, and some bricks, gold block, and the yellow concrete. Again, pause the video at any time. And now we're just going to zoom out. And there you go, there's pretty much everything in frame right there. So as you can see, we've filled in all the yellow concrete in the bottom layer, then all yellow wool, then all gold block, and then quartz above that. 
and then we already filled in the top area and that is everything complete right there which is looking absolutely amazing and I'm very happy with this build as it definitely turned out really nice to get that glow effect looking pretty awesome for Naruto in its Nine Tails mode. Now without further ado we are going to fully zoom out as well so we can see everything in frame now. And there we go. There is everything in frame and I gotta say this build is definitely looking awesome so far and I can't wait to complete the final part which will be Kakaske. Now obviously it won't be the final part tomorrow because obviously it's going to take a couple more parts or essentially it's going to take two or three parts for Kakaske maybe but we'll see how long it takes and without further ado if you enjoyed this build so far feel free to go and hit that like button and if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet make sure to go and do that because we're super close to 500 subs which we will be announcing how to do suggestions once we hit 500 subs. So make sure to go and hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, I will see you in the next one. So, peace out, enjoy the rest of your day, and goodbye.